Okay, is there a pyramid bigger than Khufu on the plain of Giza? Okay, I think there is. Watch, okay? So the Great Pyramid larger than the Great Pyramid. Really? Okay, what is it? <laughs> All right, so you can see here we've got the quick bird satellite image of the pyramids and then someone's rendering of this on paper, okay? So when you, when you do these renderings, you think, well, you can perfectly map out what's, what's there. No, you can't. Here's one example. I, I did a program about this recently, okay? So here's the northeast corner of the Great Pyramid from a top view, okay? So there's the pyramid. So the socket is a, a far out outside the perimeter of the pyramid. So the socket level's out there. So that's where that is on that paper. And so if we go right to the pyramid itself, actually to the casing stone line, that of course is right around the base of the pyramid right there, just so you can see the plan view and the elevation view here. All right, so right there is a, a benchmark that Dr. Mark Lehner put into the plateau. You can see it just goes to the northeast corner of the pyramid, walk out a little ways, and you know you can you can see that there. Okay, that's it right there. So where is the northeast corner of the Great Pyramid? Well, because remember the you know the original casing stones are gone, and so here's the point about mapping out on paper the supposed you know what's there at the Great Pyramid. So right there, that point right there. Petri, Sir Flinders Petri, the father of Egyptology, whose measures are respected still to this day, in 1883, he said that's where the corner would be right there if he was drawing this on paper. Oh, but that point right there, the coal survey by the Egyptian government in 1925, which is still a standard uh, respected measure, puts the, the northeast corner of the Great Pyramid right there. And then Glenn Dash, the associate of uh, Dr. Mark Lehner, who did a whole lot of measuring here, he puts the point there. So these three great metrologists that are all respected put the northeast corner, you know, of Khufu in a, in a different place in terms of, you know, where it is on the geospatial earth or whatever. Okay, so again, we've got these problems between theoretical and as-built, okay? That's just the nature of metrology, the nature of, uh, you know, trying to diagram something correctly, okay? So m much of the uh, work of measurement has to do with converting measures, okay? Cubit, meter, and foot, because one guy, you know, Petri says he measured it in inches, well, you're going to convert that to meters maybe, and so for example, the foot. Well, the modern foot is 0 0.3048 meters, but to use Petri's, who he always measured in inches, and when you convert his inches, it comes out a little different than the modern foot. And then if you say the original foot, because Harry Sievertson has shown that the foot has, you know, uh, roots in, in a lot of different places around the the world in ancient cultures, and so Alan Green says the original, it would be 3.4 seven two meters so the point is there's these different feats with slightly different metric conversions okay so alan green says that the cubit meter and foot can be derived from the great pyramid if you take those purple lines all definite lines within the great pyramid and say that would be the meter in, in scale then if you take the height and the the uh, half base of the pyramid the green there that would be in scale a foot and if you take the, the, what's read there, the uh, edge and, and the uh, base of the Great Pyramid, that would be the foot. So the cubic meter foot seemed to be, and so this would be like an original foot because this is way before Britain. This is way, you know, so, so he found the foot there. All right, I did a program recently about what I found here on the Giza Plateau. I think the Egyptians were saying we knew the foot, okay? So that might be like the original foot. Now, uh, Robert Grant uh, is a polymath and he, he's a great, sacred geometer, and so he drew the flower of life here, and he showed how the cubit, meter, and foot are all, you know, aboriginal. They're really part of nature. So if you take the blue line there, uh, and that construction, that's one meter long, and if you take that, just connecting the, 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 the nodes of the sacred geometry points, that equals one cubit, uh, an Egyptian royal cubit in length, and then the green there is one foot, okay? So you got, you know, cubit, meter, foot, endemic in nature, it seems like, okay? There's some other uh, information there, but I want to show you this now. So if you take the meter, the meter stick, and, and lay it out here, and then you take the cubit and lay it here, this is incredible. The cubit plus the meter equals almost exactly five feet. Now, if, if the cubit was, you know, a system used a long time ago and the meter was an invention of the French, you know, in, in the Enlightenment in 1799, they shouldn't have any relationship. They're two separate units of measure, how could it be that they equal five feet? That's in another system. And so if you add that foot out there, now you've got cubit plus meter plus foot equals six feet. So I'm making the point that I'm giving 
suggestions that the cubic meter and foot are all related, you know, and they're, they're built into nature. Okay, so again, now, so let's look at this now. So you, if you take the inner rectangle there that's in yellow, that's eight times the area of Khufu's base. It's eight times the, if you take the, so there's Khufu's pyramid there. And so the base is 756 feet. So if you square that, you get that big number, 4 million some square feet. Now, the dimensions of the inner rectangle are 1885 and 2425. So if you multiply those out, look what you get. It's exactly, so it's exactly eight times. The, the inner, tri, inner rectangle there is exactly eight times the amount of space as, as the Khufu base of the pyramid. So it seems like this has got to be planned. So bigger than Khufu, I'm suggesting this is setting up a pyramid bigger than Khufu because if you take that line from the center of Menkara to the center of Khufu and then just reflect it over here and then draw the, follow the Menkara uh, causeway and you've got a pyramid there, okay? So... Uh, Alan from Sacred Geometry Decoded Channel says, you know, if you take the Great Pyramid, 440 Egyptian royal cubits for the base, 280 for the height, then this five times Great Pyramid I'm showing there is about 1,400 Egyptian royal cubits in length there, which is five times greater, and it's about, you know, from Menkara to that center line, it's 1,100. So it seems to be a five times Great Pyramid laid out on the soil of Giza, okay? And the area inside there is eight times the base of Khufu. So that seems to be a connection, okay? So here's just drawing, you know, the, the Great Pyramid in that area there, okay? So this side right there would correspond to the Apothem. This is Cole's diagram. So that's 612 feet. You can see that. So is there a correspondence between the 612 that's the actual apothem of the Great Pyramid and that side. And of course, that side right there is the same as the other side over here. Well, okay, so the 612 apothem equals 356.5 royal cubits, okay? So if we take that side right there, which is the same as the other one, that would be from the center of Menkara to the center of Khufu, okay? So that line right there, okay, is that related to the 356 royal cubits. Well, it's 1786.3 royal cubits from the center of Menkara to the center of Khufu, okay? Now, if you take the uh, apothem that we see in the actual Great Pyramid, 356.5 royal cubits, and multiply that by 5, it's 1782.5, okay? So comparing that with five times, or actually the actual distance of Menkara to Khufu, you get so let's just divide those two, 99.8% within measure there, okay? So do we have a great pyramid on Giza that's bigger than Khufu? Okay, I think we do. I think I just showed it, okay? So again, you know, if you compare the Empotham to that side, it's 99.8% five times greater than that. So number one, the side of the big pyramid is very close to five times the Great Pyramid of Potham. Okay, secondly, the area of the Big Giza Pyramid is equal to eight times the base of Khufu. Okay, so the two gold areas there. So now, you, you, in a sense, you've got Fibonacci numbers here. Five, it's five times bigger, it's eight times bigger, okay? And then the slope angle of the Big Giza Pyramid is 52 degrees right there. And the actual Great Pyramid, the slope angle is 51.84. I think that's pretty close, okay? So... And, and when you do lay this pyramid out on Giza, there's some amazing correlations with actual Giza plateau features. For instance, uh, let's just take this one. Uh, if you take the Queen's Chamber air shaft, it points exactly to the center of the Capri pyramid. Wow. Okay. And then uh, if you take that dot right there, that's where the Osiris shaft is. And look at it corresponds to the top of the relieving chambers, the relieving chamber that looks like a Jed pir uh, pillar that symbolizes resurrection. The Osiris shaft corresponds to that. Interesting. And then up there where the boat pits are, well, we've seen before that Da Vinci hid the Great Pyramid in the Vitruvian Man drawing because he's got the slope angle 51.84 degrees there. And Da Vinci put horizontal lines in the Vitruvian Man that have nothing to do with the anatomy, nothing to do with any part of the drawing. And everywhere he put a horizontal, there's a passage in the Great Pyramid. So he's got this horizontal up there where there is no known, you know, 
chamber in the pyramid, and it corresponds to where those boat pits are, which symbolizes Khufu going to the next life, taking the solar boat. So that's just incredible, okay? And then if you take that third corner of the pyramid, the other two are defined, the center of Khufu and the center of Menkari. But at that point, I found measures out exactly to the holy circle that I found. So it seems like it's vindicating that third point, saying this is a pyramid. But of course, this is all just a coincidence of numbers. And of course, there's nothing here. But I, as I've told you, I think it's a pyramid that's bigger than Khufu on the soil of Giza. Amazing. What do you think? Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? You're just one lost soul, it'll break the mold when you see me do.